Greetings from Western Washington State, where we are now experiencing temperatures in the middle 90s during the day. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, this video is part three of a video that I posted in October of 2011 on uh, do-it-yourself uh, birder. And this is going to cover uh, a couple of mistakes that I found thanks to a uh, viewer who tried to build this thing and ended up with a problem. The problem is caused by two things. One, the size of ping pong balls have changed. Uh, three things. The size of ping pong balls have changed and the Schedule 20 pipe that I used in the original is not available everywhere. And my mistake for not noting that you must use Schedule 20 pipes. Those three things we're gonna cover. This fix allows you to use Schedule 40 pipe, and you really don't need very much of it. The first thing to do is to take inch and a half couplers, glue them together with PVC glue. If you do it right, you get them straight, and you're gonna to wanna to put a number of layers of glue on there and then you can drill holes. I drilled holes after I glued it and it works. Uh, 9 16 inch holes. You're going to need two, put this down here so I don't lose it, you're going to need two inch and a half to inch and a quarter adapters. You grind the edges off, okay, it's got little hex or edges on. You want to grind those off. You want to grind them off so that they will fit in the end of this two inch threaded adapter like this. They fit in snugly. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be gluing that, but you just want them so they fit in there. Okay. All right. And then on the inside of these inch and a half to inch and a quarter adapters, you're going to put inch and a quarter pipe. This is going to go on the bottom. It doesn't necessarily have to be beveled. So it will be going on the bottom right here. Notice these holes are closer to the top. Okay. This goes on the top, it goes in this way. This side is beveled. You're gonna put it in like that. Before we put it in, we're gonna put the ping pong, whoops, put the ping pong ball in there. Whoop. Okay? This goes in like this with this part that you ground off up. Just like that. Okay. This is your two-inch threaded adapter. It's gonna slip right on there like that. You're gonna to wanna to glue this. I'm glue this. I haven't glued it so I can show you how it works, but you wanna glue that. This part you don't want to glue because you wanna get that out clean it and maybe you might want to replace the ping pong ball who knows but cleaning it is really important okay just like that that's it that replaces the actual float valve assembly that's in here the original one now you're going to want to look at that video the video that i posted in october 2011 because otherwise this isn't going to make sense all the information is there on how to put this thing in the thing you want to add to this is your two inch to inch and a half adapter that goes inside of here and then your inch and a half pipe goes inside of that or inch excuse me your inch and a half to inch and a quarter adapter goes inside that part and then inside there you're going to have inch and a quarter pipe that is so that your strainer can go in there just like that and not fall through okay you're going to need that and that's covered in the video also but you're going to need that in there to keep uh, junk out of there so that the ping pong ball can float up and down that's basically it. There you go. Okay, now we're going to look at uh, how it seals. You see the ball on the bottom there, ping pong ball, and that's a 40 millimeter ping pong ball. And we're going to go right up to the threads right there. That's where it'll be sitting when it's in the barrel. Here we go, all right. See the ball floating? There we go. It's sealed. Let's go all the way up to the threads. There we are, sealed. Okay, I do want to mention this one more time um, at the risk of being repetitive. Uh, please uh, look at the video that I posted in October of 2011 on how to build this thing before you, uh, before you watch or before you go through this because this, this part of the video this doesn't have everything you need this just covers the uh, float valve assembly and the corrections on that um, so I'll put a link to that video in the description to this video so you want to follow that link and watch that first and then you can come back um, and go ahead and build your uh, float valve assembly this way because this will work with a 40 millimeter ping it'll actually this will actually work with a, a 40 millimeter or a 38 millimeter ping pong ball 
don't either want. Some you can get the 38s, um, uh, but they're both available, and you really don't know what you're getting. So this will work with either one. So please check that video out. Otherwise, this is this is just not going to make sense. So anyway, that should do it. And thanks again to the viewer who pointed out the problem with the Schedule 45. I really appreciate that.